All right, y'all. So the word on the street is that BMI has sold their company. Up until 2022, they were a nonprofit company collecting royalties on behalf of publishers and songwriters. In their first year of being a for-profit company, they paid out about $1.5 billion to songwriters and publishers. It's looking like they're probably going to continue to trend upward in that department. But there's a lot of people out there that are wondering what this actually means, especially for those of us creators. The rumor is that they've sold the company to a private equity firm called New Mountain Capital, which is based out in NYC, for a report value of $1.7 billion. Just last week, there was an entire coalition of different organizations that work on behalf of artists and songwriters and producers. They wrote a letter to BMI stating, Songwriters have a vested interest in changes at BMI and in any proposed transaction which is wholly dependent on the songs that they have written. BMI does not own copyrights or other assets. It is a licensing entity for copyrights owned by songwriters and by extension, publishers. Songwriters have a right to understand these decisions and how it impacts us. So hopefully moving forward, BMI will give us some concrete information as to what the next steps are and how this will affect us. But at this moment, we just don't know. What I will tell you as a BMI writer and publisher, I'm considering going ahead and just creating a new catalog of songs that are going to be on ASCAP just in case things get a little rocky. Because at the end of the day, all of these companies, all of these organizations, no matter how much they work for us, they're always going to have their bottom line at the end of the tunnel. And as songwriters, as producers, as creators, we have to have that same vision for ourselves. All right. So that's the information that's on hand at this moment. I will let y'all know as this story develops. Much love and respect. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.